Sheila Bowens, and I'm a church planner. I'm a licensed minister with the United Pentecostal Church. I was raised in a godly home, got called to the ministry at age 16. And my parents, they were church planners who inspired us. We went all over the world and built churches. For years, Sister Bowens and her family had wanted to plant a church in the Owensville, Missouri area. Owensville is a small town. It only has about 2,000 people, maybe a little more in it. But the town has a lot of hungry, needing people. Uh, we have a lot of homeless here. Drug addiction in this town is high, and we have a suicide almost every week. People that need Jesus. A small work in Owensville was closing its doors and they offered their storefront for a new church plant. So we went and we started the church in the storefront. It had red carpet and yellow pews, and it was very small. But God blessed in that little building. Revival broke out, and they quickly outgrew their small building. So we, we moved into a nursing home. We stepped out by faith, and we believed that, that God was going to meet us there, and He did, but we knew we needed a building. Their young congregation joined in 21 days of prayer and fasting, asking God for a miracle. We were so frustrated. What do we do? Nam and Christmas for Christ had given us a loan for some land, but we couldn't get a loan to build a building. And we have people coming. We have people being filled with the Holy Ghost. God is moving, but we have no building to take them to. God laid it on my heart that if I would call Brother Sample, that Nam would help me. Christmas for Christ would help me. So I called and I said, Brother Sample, we need a miracle. As we think we can build our, we drew up a plan, and it's a 60 by 60 building with Sunday school rooms, and we think it'll last us for a while. If, if you can come and help us, we, we don't have enough money. We need 25000 Brother Sample called us back and he said, I'm not only gonna give you the $25,000, I'm gonna come and build the church for you. He says, but I don't think you can do it for that, so we'll give you 35,000 and we're gonna come and build it for you. We'll send in a whole crew. When I told the church, it did something to the people, that people would love us enough, that they would give us money, that they believed in this little town, that they believed in them enough to come and build them a church. It sparked something in them. It sparked revival like we've never seen here in this town. It sparked a revival that is unprecedented. I, I can't explain what God's doing. It sparked something that even while they were building the church, people were being baptized in the baptismal tank, and the men who were building it were prophesying over the building that miracle signs and wonders would come out. I remember Brother Thornton outside weeping over the church and Brother Sample praying, and even though he was sick, he gave his all for, for us. For us, he believed in us. Nam believed in us. Christmas for Christ believed in us, and they made a difference in this community. In two years, we've baptized between 100 and 120 people. God is doing miracles in this small town because Nam and Christmas for Christ believed in us. In a year and a half, we had outgrown our new building that Nam and Christmas for Christ had built for us. So we're building a new sanctuary right now that we'll see between probably three and 400 people by the time we're done as an addition onto our NAM building. God is doing miracle signs and wonders here, all because someone believed in us. Thank you for giving to Christmas for Christ.